सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम टू द स्किल्स विजन और आज हम लोग खेलने जा रहे हैं फिर से होवर्स लेगेसी जो कि हम खेल ही रहे हैं आज ओके तो लास्ट टाइम हम लोग सब इस इजी डोरा की मेमोरी देखी थी हम लोगों ने एंड अभी कुछ आया नहीं है तो मैं ये नेटी वाला मिशन सोच रहा हूँ कर लेते थे तब तक वेस्ट तो बहुत सारे करने को लेकिन जो मेन है उनको ख़त्म कर लेते हैं पहले हमको बस एक ही स्पेल सीखना है वो है अवाडा का डाबरा एंड अभी अलहमोरा का अपग्रेड थर्ड वर्जन करना है छ मिले हैं मुझे सात तेरह ढूंढने हैं उनको सात और ढूंढने हैं <coughs> always said that travel broadens the mind <laughs> revelio so frustrating you wanted to speak with me mother i had hoped to see you mother see if you were sorry i'm going to get you your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near hogsmeade that could have been anything You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always <coughs> careful, mother. Careful. Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you, and she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother, my little gazelle, you are well intentioned. But you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had <coughs> meddled in Matibilaland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. I'm so I'm frustrating. Yes, something. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Were you born an animagus, or did you learn to become one? Animagia not this? born. The process is quite elaborate. It involves <coughs> holding a mandrake leaf in one's mouth for an entire month, then placing the leaf in a crystal vial so that it is imbued with moonlight, then adding one of your own hairs. And that is just the beginning. Self-transfiguration is common among students at Wagadu, but Professor Weasley considers it much too dangerous to teach at Hogwarts. Can you choose what form your animagus will take? Oh no. A person's animagus form is determined by their personality. My mother is convinced that my form is a gazelle because I adapt well to any situation. I believe it is because I can sense danger and keep my wits about me. How does it feel to transform into an animal? Well, the first time it can be a bit unnerving. I felt a kind of searing pain and a strong double heartbeat. But it gets easier the more you do it. I no longer feel any pain, and I must say, I find a sense of comfort in the double heartbeat. And I love being able to view the world from a different perspective. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. Ah, <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. Do 
She's concerned for your safety. It may be best for you to stay away from Hogsmeade for now. That may be safe, but I do not believe that it would be best. Do you? You could have fled the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randrock were after you, but you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. Yeah, me say it's bad okay. My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. I can tell. What are you up to now? It's at the... Revelio. Oh, there we go, man. Peter, what do you... Okay. तो है टू तो नाइन लाना है हमको तो टू स्नेप थ्री प्लस पे फाइव फाइव प्लस सेवन एट नाइन फोर तो आई नीड फोर फोर में आएगा And four lana hai zero one tiani three. Ipe aega triple head snake. Thank you. Revelio. Spider? Crab looks like it. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5, 6, 11. 11, 6, 3, 4, 5, 6, chip kill. Art plus... सात तो ये है सात एक यानी इन कौन तो ये है छिपकली क्रैब छिपकली और क्रैब यानी थ्री फोर Five six, five six eleven. यानी four, यानी four यानी अजीब से दिखने वाला ही है। ये आउल है, I guess. नहीं जो हमने पकड़ा था वो वाला क्रीचर है अभी। And thirteen plus ये I think आउल है। Thirteen आउल कहाँ है? आउल zero. छठीन में फिर हमको चाहिए होगा फाइव तो यानी क्रैब आएगा रेवेलियो और कुछ है
आ रहा मैं तेरे पास आ रहा रुक चल भाई तो तो बैटरी खत्म हो गई अरे एक्स तब क्यों मेरे से Can you see me now? I can't see you. Bye. तुम क्या कर रहे हो इधर? चलो तो Revelio Christmas tree Okay Missions टाइम पास हो गया बहुत पॉपी को अपनी मदद चाहिए चलो भाई पॉपी की मदद सबसे पहले पॉपी बहुत दूर है जल्दी जाना होगा आई गेस पॉपी हमारे करेक्टर को पसंद करती है और हमारा करेक्टर भी इसको पसंद करता है ये लोग ड्रैगन के अंडे को वापस करते हुए मिले और बस प्यार में पड़ गए यही बात है Off on another adventure, are we? Ah, uh, yeah. So, my dear, today, so much someone is out there, right? Let's have a look, shall we? I didn't think I'd be the one doing the buying. Sorry, because my bus saman bol jada hai. Offense, defense, sab kam hai. ये ऑफेंस बनाएगा बढ़ाएगा लेकिन डिफेंस नहीं है इसमें ना पैसा हो गया अब तो यू वोंट बी डिसअपॉइंटेड आई कैन प्रॉमिस यू दैट संडर एक बड़ी मुश्किल से मिलता है तो ये मैं उगा भी नहीं सकता रेवेलियो This looks intriguing. Revelio. Ye raag wala nahi hai kya? 
फ्रूट पाउडर वाला ए इधर है इधर यू कांट इमेजिन हाउ इनकन्वीनियंट टू हैव अ वॉच बिफोर आई इन्वेंटेड ब्लू पाउडर Revelio. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. You made it. Yeah. You called me so I came. I take it this means you had some luck at the library. It took a few hours and some eye-watering maps, but I think this might be the cave Doran told us about. Impressive. Especially with how little information he gave us. Well, I'm still not sure this is the cave, but it did seem the most promising. I stumbled across some folklore about a cave in the area that people avoid. Seemed the perfect place to hide something of value. It's a bit of a leap, I confess, but might a mysterious item such as a special moonstone be hidden in an equally mysterious cave? I think I'm desperate for anything at this point. Did you discover why people avoid this cave? Ridiculous, when? really. Rumor was that the cave drove people mad. I couldn't find any account by someone who had been in the cave, though. So either it is a rumor or anyone who went in wasn't in any state to speak of it afterwards. Well, we're here. We might as well have a look. Agreed. Stay behind me. I wonder if you go blind staring directly at a moonstone. Stay behind me. I will take care of it. Poppy, को जब भी जरूरत है तो ये हमको बुलाती है. Revelio. You don't think the rumors about the cave are true, do you? I suppose we'll find out, won't we? Revelio. करके हरा सकते हैं ना रिवेलियो लेवियोसो काम ही नहीं कर रहा Bombarder. What is going on with them? यानी इधर आना ही था। मैं भी तो लेवी से काम कर रहा हूँ, लेवी से काम ही नहीं कर रहा। Revelio. Oh, 
वो दर ही रहती मैं आ जाता लोमस बस इसी काम आ रहा है मेरे लोमस लोमस वो पी भी कर रही है नकल मेरी सही है कर ले कर ले ओ ऊपर जाने के लिए है ये बट इधर क्या है तेरा एरी नहीं लग रहा है ऊपर चलते हैं पहले उधर चेस्ट Creatures to my best Foibers. I beg your pardon. This must be how the rumor about the cave started. The Foibers song is said to drive anyone who hears it mad. Akio. If the moonstone is here and so of whoopers, I wonder if it's being protected. Revelio. Why am I not surprised? First the whoopers and now this. We need to find moths for those spinners. Okay. So, मुझे चाहिए ये. Glaciers. Akio. Revelio. Lumos. Lumos. Revelio. Perhaps the rules on the walls have something to do with finding the moths. Revelio. Capulto. Neither a Korakia.
I'm sure we can work out a way across. Repairer. Revelio. Accio. Revelio. Lumos. Then it's a good up on what is it? Revelio. Bombarda. Lumos. Lumos. Devolta. Merlin, it's beautiful. Revelio. Wait a minute. Is it going to be? Revelio Lumos Okay, there will be a cat. Defender! Lumos. Oh. I'm going to take a look at this. I'm going to take a look at this. Lumos. Chada there cleaning here. Okay. But Poppy Ji, you are now Lumos Lumos doing it. You are now doing it. How much time will you get to me? Depulsa. Lumos. Thank you, Ab. Rebellion. Help me. I was hoping we wouldn't. Bombarda. Defend them. Confront them. Place it. Accio. Incendio. Defend them. Imperium. Help us. Bombarder! 
Confringo. Petrificus Totalis. Huh? You can move the car. Revelio. Bug. Look, where the water's bubbling. How odd. Should we take a closer look? Look which stuff. You read my mind. Oh, Papa G. Let's dive. He seems good. Revelio. इधर कुछ है। डाइव करना। ओपीजी, ओपीजी, आओ ना। चलो ओपीजी। मार्लिन, इट्स इवन मोर ब्यूटीफुल क्लोज अप। इट्स गोट टू बी हियर। आई जस्ट नो इट। Revelio. Confringo. Given what floopers are known to do, I never thought I'd be so happy to see this many of them. I don't know. I've been listening to them for a while now, and I'm starting to lose my mind. Confringo! Very funny. I was just thinking how it's proof that poachers haven't been here. Assuming this is where the Moonstone is. Revelio! Which means we're one step ahead of them. <laughs> we found it! it well, we found what we came for. Now we just need to bring it to the Henge. I can't catch them here. Revelio. Where's the eye? Well done, Poppy. This did end up being the right cave after all. A good thing too. We need every advantage over the poachers if we're to get to the Snidgets first. We should do as Doran suggested and bring the Moonstone to the Henge. Shall we? We shall. If we leave now, we should make it there by nightfall. That's the Henge, precisely where Doran said it would be. But now that we're here, I'm not entirely sure how to feel. We knew we were at the cave for the Moonstone, but Doran didn't tell us what to expect when we placed the stone in the Henge. 
Whatever it is, it had better have to do with Snidgets. The clock is ticking in that regard, isn't it? Let's make our way down. We're nearly at the end of this. I think that's it over there. How's your grand doing, by the way? Nothing keeps grand down. She set up a caterwauling charm Lumos. and threatened to make a coat out of the next poacher that set foot on her doorstep. Lumos. I still feel terrible that I'm the reason they went there. Surely she'll be pleased you've gone after the Snidgets. Revelio. I hope so. Gran understands Lumos. how important it is to protect those who need it. हो सकता है ये हमने हाथ भी पोष दिए लूमोस लूमोस आई थिंक वी कैन सेफली से वी नो वेयर द मूनस्टोन गोस पोटी कर रहे हैं। वाव। That was a moon calf dance. Do you know how rare it is to see even one? They only ever happen under a full moon. Though I suppose the moonstone allowed it to happen now. Is the pattern they left behind on the ground normal? All part of the dance. No one pattern is ever the same though. We'll need to draw this one to get a better sense of it. Can't wait to tell Gran that I've managed to see not one but two moon god dances. She'll be jealous. You've seen this before? It was pure luck the first time. I was on high wing, or I'd never have spotted it. It was the night I. Well, the night I met High Wing. Actually, I. I'd love to hear about how you and High Wing met. I'd actually like you to know. About five years ago, High Wing had been captured by poachers. At first, they planned to sell her, but soon decided they wanted to kill her instead. More money, I suppose. I'd finally had enough. I freed High Wing, and we ran. We'd flown for ages when I spotted moon calves dancing below, and we landed to watch them. It felt like an omen, a good one, a sign that the worst was over. What do you mean you'd had enough and the worst was over? You see, the night I freed High Wing was also the night I ran away from home. A poacher camp. I come from a family of poachers. What? Why didn't you tell me this before? After all our time together. I'm sorry. I thought about it so many times, but I'm ashamed of who I, who my family is. I never fitted in, but the older I got, the more apparent it became. Gran tried for years to convince my parents to let me live with her. Suffice it to say, when I left with High Wing, I flew straight for her house. How brave! I'm glad you escaped. So am I. There were so many creatures I was unable to help when I was younger. Now that's all I want to do. From everything I've seen, you're doing precisely that. I've had a bit of help. I've never told anyone any of this, but I'm glad that you know. It's nice to have someone to talk about it with. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving that <coughs> dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. 
We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak to me. Last I heard, they were in Borneo, trying to make their fortunes there. Acromantulas. However, I wouldn't be surprised if word has got back to them. Some days a part of me hopes that it has. Now that I'm older, I wish I could talk to them, get them to see sense. But sadly, I suspect that wouldn't do any good. We were around so many poachers in the tent. Were you not worried about being recognised? Poachers are nomadic, and most of the ones in the area aren't any I'd grown up with. That said, I suspect someone must have recognised me. That's how they got to Gran. Do your parents know about the things you do now? Saving that dragon from the fighting ring, for instance. We don't speak, or rather, they don't speak. However, now that I'm older... Oh, I just keep what was it like growing up in a family of poachers? The thing I remember most was how much we moved around, always chasing the next big kill. It was chaotic and dangerous and nowhere <coughs> a child should ever grow up. I'm glad you told me. We should get back to Doran. He'll need to see the symbol. And we've got poachers to beat. If you collect the moonstone, I can make a quick drawing of the symbol for Doran. Are you finished with the drawing? Just barely. I think the pattern's a bird. At least that's what it looks like. Didn't the journal say the key to finding the Snidget lies in the moonlight? Of course. That's it. We need to show this to Doran. Not that I'd know where to find him at this hour. Perhaps we should head back to the castle and we can track him down after a good night's sleep. Agreed. I'm ready to leave if you are. सोना जरूरी है गैस सोना जरूर स्कूल में आने के बाद तो ये कौन मैं कौन कोई नहीं पूछता तो वैसे धोखा भी दिया अब इसको क्या हो गया ऑक्समेट बुला रहा है ये लोग एक किन जाने से पहले मेरे पास जो एनिमल्स हैं मैं उनको डाल दूँ जो मैंने पहले पकड़े थे वो अभी तक मेरे बैग में ही हैं फिनिक्स के साथ डाल लेता हूँ उसके साथ उड़ने के लिए कुछ बंदे हो जाएंगे साथ में
ऑक्सफर्ड बुलाया है तो ऑक्सफर्ड चलते हैं अब वर्ल्ड मैप के थ्रू ही देखिए Nice to see you, my young friend. Are you ready to put an end to Halo? I'm ready to do what's needed to take Harlow down. I know you have a plan. We must gather information from the friends of Mr. Bickle that Archie and Mrs. Bickle mentioned. Agabus Philbert, Otto Dibble, and Mr. and Mrs. Rib. All right. I suggest that you speak with each of them while I head to the Hogshead. I saw some Ashwinders heading there. And as my mother would never go near the hog's head, she is less likely to learn of my activities than if I were to wander the village questioning its residents. Where am I to find these friends of his? I do not know about Mr. Rib, but his wife, Daisy, is often in Hogsmeade, as is Agabus Philbert. 
And Otto Dibble, he works at Gladrags, so you will likely find him there. What sort of information am I trying to gather from these people? They may know what evidence Mr. Bickle had against Harlow, or they may have evidence of their own. We simply need to know whatever they know. Very well. I'll speak with them, see what I can learn. I knew I could rely on you. We need to know how they are being blackmailed by Rookwood and Harlow. Meet me here after you have spoken with them. Hopefully by the time you return, I will be able to move a bit more freely. <laughs> Cheeky tourists wandering around of late. Always asking about our Ajbai Tripuri Dukan Let's look at what we have, shall we? और शायद बाद में भी लूटूंगा लूटने के लिए पैसे चाहिए पैसे कम पड़ गए तो लक्की है भाई Mrs. Rape should be nearby. Revelio. Oh, Isco, what have I done? Mrs. Rape, I wondered if I might speak with you about Theophilus Harlow. I'm a friend of the Bickles and I'm trying to gather evidence against him. Poor Joanna and little Archie. And now Harlow has taken my darling Isco. What do you mean? Why? <laughs> I'm a security guard at Gringotts and my husband is a curse breaker for them. Harlow approached me about helping him extort my colleagues into giving him treasures from the vaults. And you declined? Of course I declined. Repeatedly. I thought they'd given up until I came home one night and found my husband gone and a note affixed to my door with a knife. The note stated that I only had a few days to reconsider helping with some banking needs and that my husband would appreciate it if I acted quickly. But the help Harlow wants is help that I cannot give and my dearest Isco is paying the price. Are you sure the note means that your husband was kidnapped? What else could it possibly mean? Besides, I came home to find that someone had trampled the daisies in our garden. It may sound silly, but those were Isco's pride and joy. He would never have let that happen. Have you helped Harlo since your husband was taken? No. I'm worried sick about Isco, but he'd never want me to compromise my integrity. I also know that he's extremely clever. That said, I was hoping he would have escaped by now. It makes me concerned as to why he hasn't. Why wouldn't Harlow extort your husband? Isco's job is even more removed from the vaults than mine. He travels the world for the bank. He could do nothing for Harlow. I'm the one in the bank on a daily basis, which evidently makes me an enticing target for blackmail. Thank you, Mrs. Rabe. Knowing the lengths that Harlow will go to is helpful, albeit more than disturbing. Mr. Bickle was trying to help us, but now he's gone. I don't know what to do. I shall do all I can to get evidence against Harlow, Mrs. Rabe. Very well. Here's the note I received. You must be careful as well. Please don't put yourself in danger.
some evidence worth hanging on to. Thank you. Oh, I hope it's not too late. Now, to find Mr. Bickle's other two friends. Otto Dibble works at Gladrags. I should check there. Yeah, but, but, but please tell me you didn't take it. But perhaps it's been here all along. Mr. Dibble, may I speak with you? It's about Theophilus Harlow. I have nothing to say about him. Uh, may I interest you in a stunning cravat today? Please, sir. I'd like to help. I spoke to Mrs. Bickle. <laughs> you know the Bickles? Mm, all right. But we must be discreet. Can't have Mr. Hill hearing this. I know Mr. Hill. He was kind to me the day of the troll attack. Oh, he's a good man. But even he wouldn't understand about Harlow. It started a few weeks ago. I was distracted, reading a note, when you-know-who came into the shop. I had the note behind the counter and offered to help him. He stared at me for a moment, then asked me to check on an order he'd placed. I went into the storeroom to check on what turned out to be a non-existent order. When I returned, he was holding the note. What was in the note? It was a note from Rosie Hill, Mr. Hill's daughter. You see, we've been, well, secretly engaged these past six months. We haven't told Mr. Hill yet. I dare say he has higher hopes for her. Harlow advised me in no uncertain terms that my relationship with Rosie, not to mention my employment here, depended upon my cooperation. What does he ask you to do? It all happened so quickly. In an instant, he took a very expensive scarf from the counter, pocketed it, and smiled. He said, your secret is safe as long as I can supply my lady friend with delightful items like this every so often. I've been able to cover for his requests until now with some creative bookkeeping, but I can't keep it out for much longer. I'm terrified to say anything. I could never live without Rosie. I met Mr. Hill the day of the troll attack. He was kind to me. Why don't you just tell him? He's a lovely man. But when it comes to Rosie, I fear he loses all perspective. He'd see this as a grave betrayal. I'd lose my job instantly, and Rosie as well. What have you been doing to keep the extortion? Well, as I mentioned, creative bookkeeping. And I've also been trying to cover the costs with my own savings, but I'm running out of money. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? That might help me to identify it, should I come across it. It's on... Thank you for telling me. I'm gathering evidence to take Harlow down. I would love nothing more than to see him rotting in Azkaban, but be careful. He's an awful man and incredibly dangerous. As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it, I have committed it to memory. You may destroy it immediately. Understood. Now hurry off before Mr. Hill returns. Where was I? We're on the right track. Hello, Mr. Dibble. I had a few more questions, if you don't mind. I, I do mind. I can't have Mr. Hill overhearing. <sighs> Ask your questions, quickly. I forgot about this. Could you give me a bit more detail about the note? I that might help me to identify it, should I come across it. It's on Rosie's special pink stationery. It has her monogram at the top, R.H. That's how Mr. Hill would know it was real. Thank you for telling me. I would love... As for Rosie's letter, should you happen upon it... Understood. Revelio. Hmm. Agabus Filbert must be around here somewhere. Hello there. Excuse me, Mr. Filbert. I wondered if I might speak with you about your dealings with Theophilus Harlow. 
I hope to ease Mrs. Bickle's mind by gathering evidence against him. Oh, tragic what happened to Bickle. He wanted me to speak out against Harlow for an act of violence committed against me. But I feared Harlow's retaliation, and so I refused. If you had spoken out against him as Mr. Bickle asked, perhaps Harlow would be locked away by now. Perhaps. But... <sighs> perhaps I would have suffered a similar fate. You said that Harlow committed an act of violence against you. Could you tell me what happened? Before my extraordinary wife, Dulcibella, passed away, she had just completed a small book of poetry. As a surprise for her birthday, one she never had the chance to celebrate, I had the book beautifully bound and plated in gold. One day, Harlow came calling to punish me for having spoken out against the Neanderthals that comprise Brookwood's lot. Before I knew it, I'd been petrified, and Harlow was rifling through my home. He found the book of poetry, with its exquisite gold plating. I watched helplessly, lying there in my entranceway as he walked away with the book, laughing as he went. I was shaken to my core. Still am, to be honest. I imagine you fear Harlow retaliating again. But do you mind if I share this information with Officer Singer? <sighs> I suppose I have no choice. This extortion can't go on forever. You can pass it on to anyone who may be willing to help. Harlow does not like people talking, as you already know. I've spoken with Mr. Bickle's friend. Now to find Natty. Away, High Wing! Away! It's not like Natty to be late. She said she was going to the Hog's Head. Perhaps I'll find her there. Past the High Wing! He must be around here somewhere. Revelio. Natty's wand. She can cast without it. She wanted me to find this. She's in trouble. Revelio will show me where she was taken. Revelio. Nosy little students get what's coming to them. <laughs> He must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. So under the hideout way. Her footprints led to this room. There must be another way forward. A 
hidden door. Natty must have been taken this way. I need to find her quickly. Revelio. I'd better be sure I'm not seen. Now they're upon me, they tell quite a different. I wouldn't go back to pit upon Ford if they was giving out galleons. I need to fight. I ought to pay that pretty little shopkeeper in. You wouldn't last a week! You see if you can last even a day! <laughs> Bombarda! Can bring The 
the book of poems that was taken from Agabus Filbert. He'll be thrilled to have this back. Revelio. Revelio Lumos Revelio Lumos Revelio Lumos Revelio 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 He must be here somewhere. You Revelio. Are... I knew you would realize I had left my want for you. Speak to Mr. Rib. Over here. I need your help. Alohomora. Mr. Rape, Daisy told me you'd been abducted. You spoke with my wife. How is she? Worried about you. Are you all right? I am all right. Thank you for coming. These locks are cursed, and there's an anti-apparition jinx on the cells. Even Natty's skill with wandless magic cannot free us. I need you to find my wand. Mr. Rabe, I found your wand. Well done. I knew it was nearby. Now, you best stand back. One never knows how a curse will react to being broken. Thank you, Mr. Isco. My pleasure. And thank you, my friend. We owe our lives to your bravery. I may be too weak to disapparate with you both, but I can try. You go ahead. Find Officer Singer. We will get out of here on our own. Very well. But be careful. Thank you, my young friend. Be prepared for a fight. These Ashwinders must pay. Revelio.
Revelio. Got it, boy. For a certain. My cheese decay image. Rebellion. Uh, so I don't know what so I guess. Me. You not be You not be Also, tip right, old tipple's love letter from Rosie. He wanted me to destroy this if I found it. Lumos. Lumos. Let's find Officer Singer and put an end to Harlow once and for all. Once and for all. Natsai Onai. I should have known. And you, the troll dispatcher. Oh, thank goodness the two of you are safe. Isko Rabe told me a couple of students had rescued him. Should have known it was you two. Is Mr. Rabe all right? He is. I sent him home to his wife. Miss Onai, your mother will not be pleased to learn that you're still risking your safety pursuing these dangerous men. Actually, Officer Singer, Natty and I learned of several Hogsmeade residents who've had their lives threatened. In addition to abducting Mr. Rabe to blackmail his wife and Natty, Rookwood and Harlow have also extorted Agabus Filbert and Otto Dibble. Uh, I will look into all of that. As for the two of you, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but you are taking great risk. Next time, please let the authorities handle the Ashwinders. Yes, officer. Do you have enough evidence to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot? Well, it's certainly a good start. We shall see. But you can leave this to me now. Natsai, you may wish to speak with your mother about this before I do. My mother will not like this. Thank you again for rescuing me. We shall speak soon. Revelio. Come now, don't be stingy. Thank you. Enjoy the show. Try to go on tour. इधर का काम खत्म हो गया एक रहा है तो कोई अब मेन क्वेश्चन से रिलेटेड तो नहीं है लेकिन ये बाकी है
Wieder. दिखा देता हूँ कि स्विच करने से क्या होगा ओशन स्टेशन है ना वो आई थिंक तो टेक थिंग्स यू शुड बी प्राउड ऑफ ऑल द पोशंस यू ब्रूड
done guys done अपना planting area डालना अब और कुछ खरीदने की जरूरत नहीं है हम लोगों को पोर्शंस भी बन जाते हैं सब कुछ बन जाता है अब हमारे पास फर्स्ट आए अरे आ गया मेंशंस के लिए जा रही है ये यार मेंशंस से भरी बट किधर बात करनी है ये हॉक्स वुड्स में है और वुड्स में है पॉपी उठी नहीं अभी तक लगता है तो भी तो मोनस्टोन वापस करना है हैंडी रिसोर्स इंडीड योर फील्ड गाइड आई एम मोस्ट प्लीज्ड टू बी इंक्लूडेड आ आई हैव बीन मीनिंग टू स्पीक विद यू I still can't believe we escaped the Ashwinders. You may not realize it, but you are the talk of the school since you saved me that day. I wonder how everyone knows about it. I told my mother in the hope that she would be more forgiving of what I have been up to if it came from me. She likely told other professors and <laughs> news travels quickly. Unfortunately, she might in fact have been even less forgiving than I'd hoped. If she knew more about what you've done, I suspect she'd be proud. If she knew any more about what I've done, she would never let me out of her sight again. I'm sorry. Has Officer Singer done anything with the evidence we provided? She has not. Hallo is as strong as ever. Someone needs to stop him, whether it is us or Officer Singer. If someone had stopped the monsters like him in Matabeleland, my father would be alive today. What exactly happened to your father? It was a beautiful day. My mother had gone to tend to a neighbor who was ill, and so my father and I were galloping in the savanna. Galloping? Your father was also an animagus, I take it. He could become the most majestic giraffe, and he would carry me on his back, my arms around his neck. We were on our way home when we surprised a group of bandits who had come from our village. One of them saw me just as he removed a scarf from his face. He shouted and then aimed his rifle. He didn't want you to identify him. Exactly. In an instant my father bowed his neck to protect me and was hit. As he fell, my father changed back into his human form. When the bandits saw this, they turned and ran in fear. Magic terrified them and then he was gone. <sighs> and it was all my fault. Your fault. How so? He died protecting me. If I had been capable of protecting myself, he would still be alive today. My mother and I tried to go on without him, but it became too much for us there. A few years later, we left to come to Scotland. Do you think your father would approve of the things we've been doing? Oh my. That is a good question. In theory, yes. although he would worry as my mother does but i think he of all people would understand my persistence my father never shied away from a fight for good no matter how ruthless the foe and i think he would have enjoyed knowing that i had a compatriot like you do you think taking down the ashwinders will avenge your father's death no vengeance is not what drives me my father would not want that 
He and my mother raised me to believe that it is a privilege to be able to fight for those who cannot. I know there is risk involved, but I feel it is worth it. I am glad you seem to think so too. What does your mother think about all of this? Well, as you saw, she worries a great deal. She is an excellent seer, but I think it bothers her to this day that she did not see my father's death coming. She misses him, as do I. So I believe on some level she understands my need to seek justice in a small way, but that does not mean that she likes it. I'm sorry, Natty. I can't imagine what you've been through. Your father sounds exceptional. He was <coughs> truly extraordinary. And thank you for your kind words. We all have our burdens. My father had a saying about that. Yes, I remember. Rain does not fall on one roof alone. Exactly. Soon you and I will put an end to the Ashwinders, beginning with Harlow. And once he is gone, we will turn our attention to Rookwood. We are making progress, and we will succeed. Thank you again for saving me. You deserve all of the praise you have received. So, go for it, Nipoda. Can you go for it, Confringo! ठीक है फिर आज के गाइस इतना ही मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में तब तक लेट टेक केयर गुड नाइट पीस आउट सो गाइस मैंने कटी डैमी गाइस मून स्टैचू इकट्ठा कर ली सो उसके बाद का ये फुटेज है इसको मैं बाद में ऐड कर रहा हूँ क्योंकि ढूंढने में टाइम लगता है एंड फिर बोरिंग वीडियो और लंबी वीडियो हो जाती सो so, अब मैं ये दे दूंगा से थर्टीन Hello, Mr. Moon. Oh, greetings. Uh, any luck removing some more of those demiguys statues? I actually have some moons for you. Dear me, you have been busy. Incredible. Thank you. You're ready for the final Alahamora lesson. With this knowledge, no lock shall ever stand in your way. You have done all I asked. I only wish I knew who put those statues everywhere in the first place. <sighs> Alas. If you do find more, please feel free to remove them. You'll be doing your caretaker a huge service. No. And if I ever find out who the bully is behind this cruel trick, I shall I let you know. Thank us. you once again for your assistance and tenacity. Now that you've mastered Alahamora, no lock is unbreakable. Uh, but do feel free to keep finding demigod statues and removing those moons. Revelio. बस यही था मुझे लगा कुछ क्लिप विलिप हो गई है कुछ बट ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है तो मिलते हैं नेक्स्ट वीडियो में तब तक के लिए टेक केयर गुड बाय गुड नाइट साउथ